What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Forza Motorsport 5. Now in this episode, I'm going to be doing something crazy. I'm going to be buying the Hennessy Venom GT. A lot of you guys have been asking me to buy this uh, on Facebook and in the, my YouTube comments ever since I got the 5 million credit uh, bonus from turn 10. And I don't know why I keep laughing in the background. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just like laughing randomly like crazy. I have no idea why. But... Um, it is time to buy the Venom GT, and you know what's the first thing I'm gonna do with this thing? First thing I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna just take it s straight out of the gate, stock, drift it. Just no, like, just not even gonna fool with it at all, just gonna take it to the test track and drift the hell out of it. Let's see, that those Xbox One designs are cool, but... Well, that's interesting, it's like a reverse flame almost. And then... Oh, that white is clean. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, that's like a that's like a Viper ACR design. That's nice. Else anything? Eh. Hmm. Oh. That's interesting. That's a bit of a like huge GT wing on the back. Uh oh man, that's cool. And that that is actually really cool. I like that. Um anything else? Waiting for it to load. Uh oh. Wow, that black and gold, that is that is cool. But then again, the white and gold is cool too. Um I really like that white and gold. Let me download that and just kind of see how it looks. Wow, that that looks really nice. That looks like some kind of crazy special edition or something. I'm going to go ahead and take it cuz that is really 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 clean like that is insanely cool. That is on another level. But yeah, before we even attempt to race this thing, we are heading straight to the test track to drift the hell out of it. Hello, game menu. There we go. Actually, wait. Let's take a let, let's take a look at it in Forza Vista first. I know, epic voice crack. But um all right, open up the door. Oh wow, the door- dude, the door jams are even gold! That is insane. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's a Lotus in here, but... It's one crazy Lotus. Let's start it up and see how it sounds. Dang! Listen to those freaking turbos on top of that V8. It's like a freaking jet turbine V8. It's crazy. Just walking around the car, it looks so menacing. It's like they took a Lotus, and then... They didn't even turn it turn it up to 11. They turned it up to freaking... Uh, freaking 111, because this thing is just crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and... Just go straight to free play... And go to, let's just go ahead and make it so there's nobody else on the track but us. And we can accept that. And uh, we already got our car selected, so we're going to actually, you know what though, let's stick with Prague. Let's drift it here at Prague. And three laps, go for it. I don't know, let's go for it. Just see what this thing can do. Literally just give it a little test drive. Um, try and test it sideways. Test it going around, a, like just in like circuit style. But yeah, this thing is, uh, thing is... I haven't even driven it yet, but I know for a fact that it's going to be crazy because I have traction control and stability control completely off and manual with clutch as this thing is meant to be driven. And if you guys ever uh, saw Matt Farah's review of this car on uh, on Drive, then you guys know um, what an animal this thing is. I mean, just the smile on Matt's face during that review was insane. It was crazy. That's a full brake stand, and we're still gaining speed. That is crazy. I was completely, completely 100% on the brakes. Oh god, that's a wall. It goes sideways instantly. And it's not a gas pedal, it's a missile launcher that you're pressing. 
no matter what you do, it stays, those rear tires, they spin and spin and spin. And wow, that was like the most insane 90 ever. I'm going to have to watch that on a replay because that was crazy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Woo! Uh-oh, oh god. Oh god. Stop! Stop! Okay. This is insane, guys. I'll be right... I'll be the first to tell you guys. You guys want a car that will challenge you and scare you and just be an absolutely crazy thing to drive. Get your hands on one of these right now. Because, uh... You need one. Every Forza player should... Whoa, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Dang. I'm gonna rewind from that, because that was just bad. But, uh, every Forza player should experience this car at least once, because this thing... I mean, I don't care if, you know, you like your cars to be 100%, you know, tight circuit car, uh, or circuit cars all the time, but... Just seriously, though, this is... This is not a race car. This is not something that's built for total precision. This is something that's built to, uh, I'll be honest here, this is something that's built to scare the shit out of its driver. No doubt about it. This, that's the entire purpose of it. This is not like the F La Ferrari or the McLaren P1, where those cars are about precision and lap times and... Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, ooh! Yeah, I lost those points. But yeah, this thing is so twitchy. I wouldn't even count it as a legit drift car. It's so insanely twitchy. But um, but yeah, it's not like the McLaren uh, P1 or the or the Ferrari La Ferrari because those cars help the driver um, go faster. They they're specifically built to help the driver go faster, and they're made to make it as easy as possible to draw. Oh god, oh god, see the snap? It's crazy. But yeah, those are those cars are made even though they're really fast. They're made to help the driver. This is made to um, scare the driver to basically the end of his wits. This thing is, I know I keep saying, <laughs> I just keep talking about it, but I can't, well, well, I'll rewind, clip the wall. But I can't keep, I can't stop talking about the hilariousness that this thing is to drive. I think the next lap will go for like a more focused, um, more focused kind of power lap. And see how it does. Whoa! And man, when those turbos kick in, like here, floored in third, go! This just goes and goes and goes! The speed! The speed! Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna have to rewind! Because the brakes aren't exactly the world's best. <laughs> I'll go ahead and say that right now. Not exactly the world's best brakes, but that speed. I mean, anytime you want it, anytime you want it, you get ready, and then you f and then you floor it, and then it just goes and goes and goes, and those turbos kick in. You get boost, and it just, it's insane. That was too much air. Too much air. Uh-oh, that's a wall. Stay away from it. And yeah, you can forget about trying to do a sophisticated lap in this car because uh, sophistication is uh, not anywhere close to a word you'd use for this car. No doubt about that. I mean, the, go the game plan with this car was shove a huge engine into a tiny car and hang on for dear life and see what happens. That's this car. That is really what this thing is. And it feels like it. It really does feel like it. You get, you do get a little bit of understeer coming through the corners, and then when you come out, I mean, thing is, you, that understeer can be cured immediately with huge amounts of oversteer. So look, for example, slowing down second gear corner, getting a little bit of, actually, that's a pretty good grip that time. I was expecting understeer, but yeah, understeer, Fix it with oversteer, instant power, all the time. All the time. So yeah, you're gonna be coming around a corner sideways almost every single time you drive this car. You have to be gentle on the brakes because if you lock them, then that uh, you've had it. You've really had it. Go, 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 go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. 
I didn't want to go sideways there. The car decided to do it, not me. Not me. Oh god. Alright, final lap. Let's make this fast. Alright, braking, 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 braking. Oh god, oh jeez. Sliding a little wide. Get the tail way out on the exit. Not way out, but a little bit out. Even when you get into the high RPMs, like, everything, just the boost comes on. And those rear wheels, they just, they have a mind of their own. They're just, like, uh, as far as, like, if they weren't connected to the car, they'd just be like, see you later. Because it, that's what it feels like they're trying to do. It feels like they're trying to rip themselves off of the rear axle. That's what this thing feels like. It feels like the rear tires are trying to tear themselves off of the rear axle. Come on. Whoa. Oh. Uh oh. Keep it. All right, go, 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 go. Be a little bit understeer, but then again, coming out of the corner, fix it with oversteer. Every time. And every time you shift, you get that little satisfying little uh, little blow off valve noise. Oop. Come on! Get in a straight line! Oh, jeez. Breaking, 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 breaking. Breaking! That's gonna be... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, God. Keep it... Oh, jeez. Sideways. Keep it sideways. Because that's about the only way I can get through that corner. Oh, God. Oh, no. Whoo! That was too close for me. That was way too close for me. All right, and across the line. This car is a monster. It, it is an absolute monster. It's way harder to drive than the racing Corvette that I drove a couple videos ago. Um, if you guys saw that video, I mean, you saw that I kind of struggled with that car grip-wise. This thing makes that thing look like a Prius because... This thing is just so fast that I don't know how you'd even be able to control it. It is so fast. Then before we actually finish this video, I'm going to take it to the uh, old Le Mans straight and test this thing on a top speed run and see, um, see what we can get it up to, really. Just see how fast we can get this crazy beast of a machine up to. Alright, let's go ahead and continue. And uh, as soon as the menu loads back up, we'll go ahead and uh, select uh, Le Mans Circuit de la Sarthe. Shouldn't take that long to load up. Hint, hint, Forza. <laughs> Alright, uh, select track. And... Actually, there it is. Le Mans. And... Old Mulzan Circuit. And start it up. This is gonna be crazy. This is going to be crazy, guys. I'm really excited to see where we get with the top speed. Because, God, top speed wise, I mean, you cannot argue that this car, you can't argue with it. You can't argue with the sheer speed of the thing. And, when, but the only part I'm worried about is when it comes time to brake. That's the only part that I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, Alright, let's get this thing started. Dang, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And it sounds amazing, too. Let's go! And try not to- and let's try not to crash before we get to the straightaway. How about that? How about that? It sounds good to me. Alright, turn it in. Really babying the car up to the straightaway. Because I don't want to spin or hit a wall or mess it up before I get there. Come 
Come on. Do not screw it up. Do not screw it up. That, that blow-off valve every time. It's crazy, that sound. All right, accelerating onto the straight and fourth gear. Full throttle now, full throttle. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, we are already over 200 miles an hour. Into sixth. Heading for the top speed. That's 240. 250. Come on. 260. 262, 3, 4, 5, 265, 265 miles an hour, guys, and braking hard, just hard on the brakes, completely down. Wow. Wow, we started braking like way back there over that little crest. Way back there. Jeez, this thing is a monster. An absolute monster, guys. You guys have to drive this. Have to drive it. Absolutely have to drive it. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys later. Tomcat out. Hope you guys enjoyed, like I said.